keep here, but I cannot stay. And I don't know what to say. And the sea is out of sight. I think it's gonna last all night. It's marvellous, it is. Wonderful. It's very nice. The weather's lovely too. It's a grand morning, really, to be at the site at Gillingham Pier. Nice lot of people here as well, isn't it? Elf here as well. It's nice to see him here. The guess. It's just you and me, I guess. And my heart's pumping like a plum. We should fly to the fuzzy sun. We've got a grand crowd here, we've got the right weather, so I think Alf and I need to go ahead. Three, two, one. Three. And the sea is out of sight. I think it's gonna last all night. I think it's a fantastic Vista Descent. You know, I've seen many of Vista Descent, but I think this is one of the best ones that I've seen. You know, it, it, the atmosphere is fantastic. Looking at the display, the different you know information you can have, I think it's great. And also to have uh, a recording from somebody who was actually there, Elf, who I met earlier. Terrific to actually see uh, and and listen to somebody's experience. I think it was fantastic. Great to be down here to see you know the start of the Medway Queen coming back to the Medway. You know, the Medway Queen is at the heart of Medway's history. You know, and I think it's so important for our future generations to know what our past generation and did for us, because if it wasn't for them, you know, we would not be here today having our democracy. And so I think you know, by working with our European partners, because it is a joint working, looking at the European funding, working with the council, and also working with local you know volunteers in the area, coming together to make sure that we never forget, you know, what the people of uh, the Medway Queen did for us, and all those who fought for our country are never forgotten. I'm Mika Kodisaba from VDAB Belgium. Uh, we are partner in the Heroes to Sea project. So we are very happy to be here with the opening of the visitor center. It looks very great and it's very interesting to see and actually see um, what the Medway Queen uh, meant for the region and everything. It makes it visible, eh? so it's very, very good. It's very well done. And I say it as a compliment, but also at the, at the first look, you see the different functions the ship has had for pleasure during the war and after the war. But you also can read the effort of different people within the different phases of the ship. And nowadays, all the work of the volunteers who have done a great work in the beginning to start the project, to encounter great and huge problems, to see the ship totally broke down and begin again. But nevertheless, they are here at this moment opening the visitor center. It's very nice to see a lot of the old members, some of which I never met before. From the, the, the starters, the founders of the, the, the society, until the project managers of today. And that's, that's, that's very well done. And you can see it here. You can read it, you can feel it, uh, you can touch it, and you can buy it. <laughs> and I'm hoping I'll laugh to have a trip on it. <laughs> pity, uh, yeah. It's a pity uh, my wife wasn't here because I promised her that I'd take her on there. It's good to meet uh, them. Huh? My father participated as this dynamo operation during the Second War. And uh, when I was young, he told me what happened. And, and now we participate at the reconstruction, the restoration of this Medway Queen, we participate at this operation Dynamo. So for me, it's a very, very interesting. And uh, uh, I discussed uh, two years ago with an, a veteran of this operation, which, is, uh, which was here today for this uh, event. And uh, it is uh, something, uh, uh, a lot of emotion when uh, I speak with this old man. What do you think of the exhibition? Good. <laughs> uh, are we going to look around the workshop? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> are they working there yet? Yeah, they're doing some apprentices doing some stuff. Behind here we've got art building. 
It's very important because I think the apprenticeships that we have, which are linked to the Midcamp College, you know, and I think they're here, they do a fantastic job. And I think also it's about providing opportunities for our future generations, so having a hands-on experience, learning new skills to make sure they can go out there, play a key role in our local economy, which is so important. I'll make sure that we in Parliament and local council all work together to ensure the future success of the Visitor Centre and the Medway Queen continues. So it stops the gases escaping instead of... Used as an, uh, a training tool with the apprenticeship to bring back a monument. That's what I think is the Medway Queen. And now I'm, I am aware what was this boat and what happened with the, the Dunkerque uh, uh, low landing operation Dynamo. Now I, I am more uh, aware of that. You can say there's three stories of three ships, but also three stories of different communities. And to speak with each other, to eat with each other, to build with each other, is getting knowing each other more. And that's, I think, the basis of creating a more social Europe. And that's my goal, to participate on this intercultural cross-border project. Obviously the next big day is when the, when the ship actually comes back here. Um, we were hoping that it would come back early in the new year. Um, it slipped a bit to the right, but um, we're still hoping that by springtime we'll actually be celebrating the, uh, the Medway Queen returning to its, uh, natural, uh, its natural home. It'll be a little bit of a Celebration, I'm sure, when that day comes. Oh, I think that's probably goes with exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it is. Celebration, <laughs> big celebration.